Hi everybody, Tristan's here. Welcome to Tris Time. Well, as we all know, some of y'all may not know, it's 48 hours away from my 2000 story with my Omni family. I'm really looking forward to all of this and everything else. It's been like a long time, you know, coming. No, this was supposed to happen like last year, but since the pandemic, Things kind of like changed it, but like I always say, yeah, I kept positive and I just kept my head forward and kept and kept it going and let positivity take over. And which, of course, it was a good thing to let it take over and everything else. But the only thing about it is the celebration is very special to me because it's a, another milestone and I'm very, very proud of and everything else and I just can't wait for this and everything because I thank so many people for so many years that I've worked with this company you know who has been there with me from the very beginning ever since I got started with all of this you know if you guys looked on the news like five years ago I, I did 1,000 stories and it was basically Things just started to blow up and I started to like, just like take this in. It was much to take in, but I can't wrap my head around it about how I felt about, felt about that that day five years ago. But now here we are five years later. Now everything is full circle. This is like icing on the cake and everything else. And I just can't wait. But let's get, let's start with the story time. Now, if you saw my last two videos, there was elementary we talked about, and then there was middle school. Now, there's not much, but now here's the, the biggest one. The one that gives a lot of parents, they'll get a whole bunch of parents, I will say this, a lot of heartache. In more ways than one, and that's high school. And sometimes they'll give a few tears because you can't believe your child is all grown up. And it's because it seemed like yesterday they were just babies and they were just running around. And now they were just playing outside. But now they're in high school now. And to be straight up with everybody, you know... It's always a it's always a blessing. It's always a good time, especially if when you're in your teenage years. Cause those are the best feelings. Sometimes they're the most craziest feelings. And sometimes you end up when you're in high when you're in high school and you're a teenager, you're just acting out. Sometimes you want attention, or sometimes attention finds you. Well, with that said, you know, at the Sometimes they can be the best four years of your life, or sometimes they can be the longest. But there will be, but there are those that never be forgotten. There are many moments, many embarrassing moments, or sometimes real good, good moments, or some that might happen while you're in high school. You know, you have a lot. You have a lot of kids that have that go goes with a lot of groups around the complex you have jocks you have cheerleaders you have some people would call them some call them geeks or sometimes smart kids bookworms because they're the very smartest kids in the school but trust me those smart kids the ones who wear glasses and y'all look at them like they steve urkel and all that kind of stuff act like they nerds or sometimes they won't get they won't be popular and all that kind of stuff. They end up getting the good jobs and they end up working at becoming managers and become corporate supervisors. Trust me, I have expensive everything. Sometimes people make fun of them, but trust me, look where they at. Because they kept their heads forward and kept their eyes on the books and everything sometimes in high school some people want to be popular some people just want to stand out 
It's just the same old routine, time and time again, every time in high school. Because, see, high school is more like prison sometimes. Bad foods, high fences. Also, let me let me explain how it is. Story is called "Those Are Four Years That Are Never Forgotten." Stories from Eddie Griffin. Y'all know Eddie Griffin, one of the best comedy men in the world. Plain and simple. It's kind of crazy, but you always learn from him. Tell it like it is. All right. What's up, everyone? Well, I know many kids do look forward to go to high school, and some don't look forward to it. Because when you are a freshman, your teenage years are just about to get very interesting. Which is true. Believe me when I tell you, every teenage, every teenager, their lives get very interesting. They go through more phases, and they go through more... More back trying to find themselves in in more ways than one. <laughs> that you that you just can't wait. And some of them, basically every teenager just can't wait, especially when they're in high school. Get their driver's license, planning their sweet 16. Which of course every every girl do plan their sweet 16. Every guy does too. And many ones. And you and you know, that's the old on and off on and off boyfriend and girlfriend thing in high school. And I'm not getting into that <laughs> and everything else. And believe me when I tell you, there is no getting into that because you just let teenagers be teenagers. They're, they're going to be on and off and everything else. <laughs> and I'm just not going to talk about that. <clears throat> All right. You're in high school. Are the ways you go you go through. If they, I mean, sometimes when you go through high school, they can go fast or they can go long sometimes. And trust me, they would go long. Depends about at what you're doing or if you like going to class or you're not going to class and everything else or you think it's too much and that the study is a waste of time it's not let me tell you something all those books in your book bag and all those tests you take are a pain, but the pain is worth it. Because the biggest award is right ahead of you. Which is true. All those books and all those tests that you take, you take everything, it's the biggest award is right ahead of you. Now in high now in school you don't get paid. The adults, when we got jobs, we get paid with money. When you're in, when kids, when you're in school, you get paid in report cards. Because the report cards are your payments about how much you've learned. See, what's an A on your report card? That A leads you into a positive future. What's a D on your report card? It means you don't want to try, though you have it in you to pass. And believe me, you do have it in you to pass. You just have to basically just keep trying. Just keep on studying. You keep studying, you keep on going, you keep getting your head into it, you can do it. In every teenager's life in high school, there are so many challenges in school and in home. Now, trust me, the challenges in home 
and school are different battles. You see, when you're in school, the battles are with your teachers because they're the ones teaching you. When you're in home, your parents are the biggest challengers. And trust me, they will tell you that this is for your own good. And they will tell you in so many ways what's, what's best for you. You know, you say you're a teenager and you like, nah, just because you're a teenager doesn't mean you don't know what's best. Not just yet. And everything else. See, your parents would say homework comes first. Playtime is later. Which, of course, is true. Your work always comes first before you do any other thing when it, and everything else. Teenagers have a lot of friends. And they're going to be so many play playtimes. Trust me. When it comes to teenagers, they're the whole whole lot of play times in more ways than one there will be parties you'll see a lot of teenage parties now you don't see that many teenage parties nowadays but they are still out there and everything there are school dances and believe me when it comes to school dances and when it comes to a prom those are the great moments to have with friends and everything of the big those are the biggest moments you know you just take pictures and you just have a good time and enjoy every moment you have while the moment's still there and i know it's gonna be a lot of parents not favorite time of, of the time of the days or the nights especially if your kids are teenagers are the sleepovers and i know many of y'all don't even look for, don't ever look forward when it comes to your kids having sleepovers. Because it gets loud and it gets really something that you might, that you might get your neighbor something to complain about. And everything else. It's not easy to be a teenager. Which of course is true, it's not easy. But all they need is the right directions in life. And when you point them there in that right direction, it shows how much you care about their future and how much you care about them as humans. So when so when to so when you're a teenage in teenage life, enjoy it. All your teenage if you're a teenager. Just enjoy it, okay? Because believe me, I tell you, you only see teenage life once. You won't see it again. You just enjoy it. And when you walk across that stage for the biggest moment of your life and your parents won't forget your graduation and believe me when I tell you, when you walk up that stage, you walk across that, and you walk across it, and you look back, you tell yourself, my teenage years is over. I had a good ride, but now, as soon as you walk down those steps and hit that floor, that means adulthood is right it's right there adulthood is the beginning that means responsibility is already on its way now but you kept but you kept on the right direction and that proved that that a is nothing but positive for the past four years, you'll never forget. And trust me, four years can go by really quickly. 
But as far as but as far as I'm telling you right here, enjoy to all the kids out there who are teenagers. Enjoy being a teenager. Just enjoy it. You know, have fun. You know, just be a teenager. Just, I mean, I'm not saying, but please still stay in school. Stay in school and just keep stu just keep studying. Believe me, this is your greatest. This your brain is the greatest weapon of them all. Those books are the guide. Everything. Your future relies in those books and everything else. I know you guys have a bright future ahead of you. I can feel that. I can have. I feel all that positivity in you. My thing is that when you get that A on your report cards and you keep getting those straight A's, trust me when I tell you, it's all positive in a full circle. Trust me, I see a lot of kids out there who are getting more diplomas than anything. I see a middle school kid who is on his way to college <laughs> with a brain like no other. I'm seeing a whole lot of smart kids out there who are going to have a lot of bright futures and everything else. And I can't say how proud I am that I see that it's nothing but positivity. But like I said, but here's the thing in high school, you only have four years. You just like you make moments. You're a teenager, you can you might get in you can get into trouble. Sometimes you'll learn from it, sometimes you won't. Sometimes that's how being a teenager is, and everything else. But I hope you guys enjoy this story. I hope you guys learn from all this and everything else. But like I said, all the kids who are in school right now, I pray for you and make sure God protects all of you and everything. To all the parents, I pray for you guys too that you always keep your kids on the right direction, okay? So this has been Tris time. I hope Hope you guys enjoy it. Like I said, 48 hours left to go until my celebration. I can't wait. 2,000, a milestone. I'm on my way. Take care.